Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 12 through 12.1.2 without the need of a computer on an older A7 or A8 device. Uncover was just upgraded to include support for said devices, which now functions on the iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, the 6th generation iPod Touch, iPhone 5S, as well as the first generation iPad Air. Now it works all the way up to the iPhone 10. Unfortunately, if you have an A12 powered device, you're not included just yet. However, there is a A12 status checker linked down below in the description, as well as in your cards right now. Just go ahead and bookmark that page and check back regularly if you do own an A12 powered device, which includes the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, as well as the 2018 iPad. So if you own one of those devices, again, just be sure to check out that link. It will tell you immediately whether or not a jailbreak has been released. It's dynamic, so it updates the second a new utility is available. Now we're just about ready to actually perform the side loading of the jailbreak application. However, before we do that, it is paramount that you actually delete any pending OTA software updates your device may have automatically downloaded in the background. So to do that, just go to settings general, and then you're going to go to iPod touch storage. If you have an iPhone, it will say iPhone, iPad, iPad storage. So go ahead and tap right there. And if you have any OTA update, you're going to have to delete it. So it'll probably be something like iOS 12.1.4. And once you do, or once you see that rather, you're just going to tap it and you're going to tap on delete. And then it's best to reboot your device and verify that it is fully gone by going inside of settings general and then the iPod touch iPhone or iPad storage setting again. You need to delete any pending OTA updates. It should be toward the top because they do take up quite a bit, but you're going to want to just scroll through to ensure that you don't have it at all. It is paramount that your device does not say it has any pending OTA updates installed because if you do, it will put you into a boot loop and force you into restoring, which of course will lock you out of jailbreaking. So that is very key. This is a first preliminary step you have to follow before you attempt to jailbreak. All right, so with that said, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it today. There will be two links down below in the description. One, if you want to jailbreak with a computer. One, if you want to jailbreak without a computer. That's actually going to be the very first link that you will see below without a computer because I'm assuming that's why you guys are here. So once you actually tap on that link, it will just take you to a post on best tech info. And you're just going to read through these two steps. So you're going to scroll down to the steps section. So how to jailbreak. And it's going to tell you if you have an A7 or an A8 device, you're just going to tap exactly where it says right here, one B, go ahead and tap there and it's just going to end up redirecting you to the download page in just a second. And let's go ahead and wait for it. We're going to scroll down. We're going to tap right where it says tap here. So go ahead and tap there and you will be redirected to actually install the app we're going to use to download Uncover on device. So we're going to tap allow to the prompt right there, followed by install, install again. We're gonna tap on done. We're gonna press the home button. We're gonna open tweak box. And then we're going to go to, actually first we're going to tap on I accept. Then we're going to go to apps Scroll to tweak box apps in the middle. And then at the top where it says search, you're going to type in uncover and that is a zero instead of an O. And you should yield one result right there. Uncover jailbreak. And you're going to tap on install. Make sure it's B40, beta 40 or higher. Again, you're going to tap on install and install again to the prompt. And then you can go ahead and press the home button you can see that the Uncover jailbreak application is downloading. What we're going to do is go over to the settings application and we're going to go inside of general and then go to down below at the bottom, profiles and device management. Under enterprise app, you should see an option there. Tap on trust, 
followed by trust again. This is for the uncover application to get it to run properly. It utilizes a developer enterprise certificate. We're gonna tap on open for the uncover app right there. And you can see that all we have to do now is just tap on jailbreak. And you may have to run through this up to four separate times to get it to actually function all the way through and fully jailbreak your device. But you can see there, that time did it on the very first try. Chances are good though, you're going to have to do at least four just so long as it processes through all 38 steps, you should be good to go. This is just going through a respring right now. And once it's done, let's go ahead and press the home button. I do actually have Cydia, it's inside of this folder right here. Let's go ahead and launch it. And I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom and show you guys once Cydia finishes loading that I am in fact on iOS 12.1.1, a supported firmware by the Uncover Jailbreak. So I hope you guys really liked this video. In your cards now, while I'm scrolling down, there will be a playlist for top tweaks to install from Cydia. I highly recommend checking those videos out. You can find the absolute best tweaks to install from Cydia there. And as you can see down below at the bottom, Cydia does in fact confirm that this is an iPod Touch 7,1. That's the identifier for the 6th gen iPod Touch running iOS 12.1.2. So I hope you guys liked this video, just a quick tutorial showing you how to jailbreak iOS 12 through 12.1.2 for older A8 and A7 devices. Remember, A12 support is coming very soon, and this guide will also, of course, function on newer devices as well, up to A11. Be sure to click that subscribe button if you have yet to, that way you'll be fully notified anytime we release new videos concerning jailbreaking. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out. But now in this video, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite tweaks, some of the very first ones that I think you guys should install. And these tweaks are aimed at these older generation devices that might be just a little bit slower and sluggish. So most of them are aimed to speed up as well as make your device look pretty sweet and uh, basically just quality of life tweaks. Now these are some of the first ones I think you guys should install and I hope you do enjoy them. That being said, just so we can go through this video pretty quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and use my iPhone 10 to demonstrate these tweaks. Granted, all the ones that I'm talking about in this quick video, they all entirely run and work perfectly fine on the iPhone 5S. And I'm sure many of them are supported for the iPads as well. All right, well, let's go ahead and get directly into things. I'm gonna go ahead and pop open my home screen. Now, as you guys can already see, we have a lot going on here and we'll get into all of this in today's video, but let's start out with the basics. Now, before we get too far in this video, I just wanted to let everyone know that all of the sources for all of the tweaks we're talking about in today's video are located down below in this video's description on the Best Tech Info article. Again, you will find all of the sources needed to install these tweaks as well as the full tweak list there. So with a brand new jailbreak out, one of the very first tweaks that I like to install is called Swipe for More. Now this, when you go into actually installing tweaks, this lets you queue up tweaks super quickly and lets you install multiple at the exact same time. Or in contrast, you can actually queue up these tweaks to actually delete them all at once as well. You can see how quickly they're added to your queue. So you can quickly install and uninstall tweaks as well. Now, next up, we have this tweak called Flame. And this one is one of my personal favorites. It allows you to batch add sources. So as you guys can see, I can click batch mode right here. Now, any sources that are currently in my iPhone's clipboard, it will automatically be added to my sources list. At the same time, as you guys can see, I have a ton of sources already installed on my iPhone 10. If I wanted to quickly export this list and send it over to my iPhone 5S, I can go to installed and here in the top left right here I can quickly export my tweak and source list another great feature of flame and flames really cool because you can do some minor UI changes as well like changing this blue highlight accent as well as the top to red or any color you want so flame is just a great tweak to have all right, well, aiming at older device users like the iPhone 5S and iPhone 6 that have an older processor, another great tweak is called Animations Be Fast. Now, this basically just speeds up all of the iPhone's animations from turning on your device, from going to the home screen, and it just makes it feel really fast. 
even on this iPhone 10 right here, it's a lot faster than what it normally would be. And within the tweak settings as well, you can customize all of these speeds individually. So that is just a great one to make your device feel super speedy.